When it comes to the Internal Revenue Service, the IRS, your first thoughts are likely about money and taxes, mm -hmm. not tactical training. That's the kind of training, though, typically associated with the FBI or Secret Service. Yes, but as Christine Noel shows us, the tax man is also getting trained in a similar way. It's a training day for agents of the Internal Revenue Service CI Division. Criminal Investigations, it's, a, it's its own operating division within IRA. They receive extensive training in, uh, in law, in the application of law, in executing enforcement operations, in the use of firearms, uh, and other related topics. Most people associate this kind of training with the FBI, Secret Service, but not the IRS. I didn't even know the IRS had a criminal investigative unit when I, before I started, so I, I think it, a lot of people would be surprised that IRS has criminal investigators. This year, IRS Criminal Investigations commemorates 100 years of service. It was formed in 1919 with the mission of finding and stopping criminal tax fraud, which at the time was one of America's favorite pastimes. This was the age of bootlegging, the Purple Gang, Al Capone, and organized crime. Over the last century, many things in America have changed, but some things have not. For us, it's all about, obviously, the, the greed. Almost everyone commits a crime because at the end of the day, there's money to be made. For thousands of IRS employees working in the business divisions, the computer and calculator are the weapons of choice, tracking people who cheat. That's because tax fraud is not a victimless crime. When you cheat the IRS, you're cheating everybody, um, your neighbors and family, because that money is used to run this country. There are 2,500 criminal investigation field agents, a very different typical career path for an accountant. This is an alternative to a traditional uh, accounting uh, job. You're not just a CPA. Now you're taking those accounting skills and applying them to criminal investigations, tracking down complex financial uh, crimes. For the men and women of the IRS, the mission has remained the same for over 100 years now. If you cheat on your taxes, evade your taxes, that you will be caught and held accountable. Bottom line, you don't want the IRS coming after you with this or this. Want to know more about the IRS Criminal Investigative Unit? Head over to clicktohouston.com for a by-the-numbers breakdown. I'm Christine Noel, KPRC Channel 2 News.